Hello guys. So before moving on to this video, I would like to announce to you all that our Neat PG 7 years complete Q bank of PYQs is ready and it is available at a very nominal price for you guys in the PDF format. The book is available. So if you guys are interested, you can check the description for the link to buy. And if you want the sample PDF, you can contact me on Telegram. And for any further queries, you can contact me on Telegram. So this video is about the nail changes and the diseases associated. So these are the parts of the nails. Uh, there is the distal edge, the nail body, the lateral nail fold, the lunula, the eponychium, the nail root, the proximal nail fold, the cuticle and the lateral nail fold. So all of these are marked here, all the parts of the nail. Now one most famous condition and one which keeps repeatedly coming up in competitive exams is the leukonychia. So leukonychia it is usually seen in uh, zinc. So how does zinc affect the nails? Yes, leukonychia happens. And are white spots on your fingernails really sick sign of calcium deficiency? Yeah, so it is also seen in calcium deficiency and zinc deficiency. Now, buse lines. So buse lines are non-specific, deep transverse linear depressions or trenches across the nails. And they are the most common nail change in systemic disease as well as least specific one. So it is uh, when muse lines are seen on all the fingernails, the person may have a history of mumps, pulmonary infection, thrombosis of coronaries, Kawasaki disease, syphilis, hypoparathyroidism. So since it is least specific, it can be any of these you may have. And it is also present in conditions like serious forms of fever, stress or MI, nail injury, eczema, malnutrition, cancer chemotherapy, exposure to cold temperatures in the presence of Raynaud's disease, trauma, pempicus disease, severe infections, hypotension or shock and hypocalcemic states. Now next famous condition and a favorite question from forensic medicine point of view is the Mies lines where there will be transverse leukonychia. So Mies lines or Aldrich Mies lines also known as leukonychia striata. They are white lines of discoloration across the nails of the fingers and the toes and it appears after after an episode of poisoning with arsenic, thallium or other heavy metals or selenium and then opioid MT45 and can also appear if the subject is suffering from kidney failure. So all these underlined points are important guys and it is also observed in chemotherapy patients. Most importantly and most frequently asked is the association between arsenic and the aldrich mies lines. Next, Mueski's lines, they are multiple transverse wide linear bands parallel to the lunula of the fingernail and they represent an apparent leukonychia as they result from an abnormality in the vasculature of the nail bed and it is a result of uh, seen in hypoalbuminemia. Next is the Hutchinson sign. So it is melanonychia, brown or black streaks in the nails, potentially signifying melanoma or other serious conditions, especially if new or changing. Next is the pseudo Hutchinson sign, a brown black linear band with regular borders extending from the proximal nail fold along the entire nail length of the patient's right thumb here in this image. So this is a pseudo Hutchinson sign. And this is another benign mole in the nail matrix with uh, a more pronounced pseudo Hutchinson sign. So the benign mole extends beyond the cuticle and into the skin of this child's finger here as the image provides. Next is the Lindsay's nail which is the half and half nail and uh, the nails with a distinctive white and pink or red coloration typically associated with chronic kidney disease and this half and half nails or the Lindsay's nails they are observed in patients with CKD and have sharp demarcation of nail beds. The proximal portion is whitish and the distal portion which occupies the 20 to 60 percentage of the nail length is red, pink or brown in color. Next is the Terry's nails and here are the nails that appear white with a pink or red band at the tip often linked to liver disease, heart failure or diabetes. So don't get confused between Lindsay's and Terry's. Terry's is seen in liver disease, heart failure or diabetes whereas Lindsay's is seen in CKD patients. Next is the nail psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. So in psoria nail psoriasis, there will be oil drop discoloration, which is a very important characteristic feature, also known as the salmon patch and is a common sign of nail psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. 
Next is the nail lichen planus. So lichen planus is characterized by nail plate thinning, longitudinal ridging, longitudinal nail fissuring, onycholysis and onychorexis, trachonychia and erythema of the lunula, nail atrophy with coilonychia and in severe cases, dorsal pterygium and anonychia can also happen. Next is the trachonychia which is also known as the 20 nail dystrophy and it's a condition where all the 20 nails become rough and brittle often associated with alopecia areata or other autoimmune conditions. So this is the image of trachonychia. Next is the red half moon nails, the red lunula. So the red lunula may be present on all or part of the lunula and may affect all the digits. Etiology is undetermined but red lunula is most often associated with cardiac failure and autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis. Arthritis, SLE, and alopecia areata. Next is the coilonychia, which is a spoon shaped fingernails. Again, very, very, very important, the most important. It is seen in iron deficiency anemia. So, concave nails that are thin and brittle, and it is a sign of iron deficiency. So, the red spots and the lines on the nails can also be a sign that you need more vitamin C. But coilonychia, as such, is very, very important and is very related to the iron deficiency anemia. And here you can see the image of that. So that's it guys, this is a short video about the important nail changes and the diseases associated. So till I come back with my new video, stay tuned, till then bye, thank you.